Welcome to Hedge Apple Acres. In today's video, we're going to look at our cattle corrals. Hope you stay tuned. One of my favorite things to do when visiting other farms is to see their livestock handling facilities. So today, I'm going to show you ours. They're not finished, but we'll show you what we have. They work pretty good. Part of it's farmer built, part of it's purchased. So we'll take a look. One of the things I like most about our cattle pens is the 14 foot alley we have here. 14 foot alley feeds all of our pens. We have three pens. We'll turn around here and see the other pen. And 14 feet is wide enough for cows to go around me, but not too wide. I can't stop them from going down the alley. As you look here into the, you can see I got a mud hole here. I piled up some dirt under that gate to keep goats from crawling under did not work good I take that back it worked good for a while but then it started eroding and it's not worked so well beyond that gate I have a little bit bigger pen that's probably 50 by 70 or so to bring cows into over to the right where you see the calves eating hay got a bigger pen yet and that's where we wean our calves or and put the bulls in when we need to. Back to the alley, let's walk down it. So we have a gate here on the alley that can go all the way back to provide a fully open position for the cows to come in th from the alley where I can close it back to lock them in here. It'll close here or I can bring it out here and close off the alley completely. And you can see one of the peacocks there wondering what I'm doing today. So I can close off the alley. What I do, I bring the cows into the alley and then I use the gate to sort them. So I set the gate usually about halfway and I have the cows here and I can sort them easily. We'll try and get a video of that sometime. Continue down the alley. I've got another pin. Each of the three pins here are about 45 by 45. And what I like to do is fill the end pin, sort out what I need to, and just work down by sorting. Let's take a break and look at the peacocks. Their tail feathers have grown out really good. Those are my two males. Peacocks are something I've enjoyed. For a long time, my grandparents had peacocks when I was a kid. Okay, back to the corral. So we got the 14 foot alley. Now right here, we plan on putting another 14 foot gate and having a 14 foot wide pin all the way back to the barn. I'd like to do two here. That gives me some smaller sorting pins. This corner you see right here is from the old corral. And we plan on tearing that out. And I, I bring the cattle over from this pen into the tub and stuff. So let's go ahead and go up to the tub. Right now I've just got portable panels doing this. But I have this small gate here that I close. And then I have the cows locked in this pen that's 20 by 12 or so. And I can push them on in with the tub gate here. One thing I like to do is have the heifers and cows go through here when we're not working them. So they get used to going through here without much pressure. Our alley will get narrower if we want. And you can see it's got a butt bar there. I do not like it. Most of the time I just have it up out of the way. I want to put something at the end. As you come through here, the, the scales is here, or the, the chute for the scales. Currently I have the scales out so I can weigh the three and one feeder. We've got a drop gate there. Come over here. So we got the scales with a palpation cage behind it. Let's me get in there if I need to AI something or do other palpation. Works really good. Then we have our head gate here. 
to work through. That's a simple, quick tour of our working facilities. We'll try and get some cows in there for another video. It works really well. We still have a lot of work to do on it, though. Oh, one thing I didn't show you, but let's go back and look. I did not show you. Let's just. One thing I didn't show you was when they come into the tub. Uh, we have we load them into the skirt or into the stock trailer right here. It pushes back and we can back trailer up and go in. Allows us to load them without being in the pens. Um, our our cows are fairly calm, but sometimes you get those 800 pound steers; they get kind of nervous. As always, thank you for watching. We appreciate you, and we encourage you to click the like button and subscribe. We'll be seeing you more.